The Whitechapel Bell Foundry was a business in the London borough of Tower Hamlets. At the time of the closure of its Whitechapel premises, it was the oldest manufacturing company in Great Britain. The Bell Foundry primarily made church bells and their fittings and accessories, although it also provided single tolling bells, carillon bells and handbells. The foundry was notable for being the original manufacturer of the Liberty Bell, a famous non-religious symbol of United States independence, and for recasting Big Ben, which rings from the North Clock Tower, the Elizabeth Tower at the Houses of Parliament in London. The Whitechapel premises are a Grade II asterisk listed building. The foundry closed on 12 June 2017, after nearly 450 years of bell making and 250 years at its Whitechapel site, with the final bell cast given to the Museum of London along with other artefacts used in the manufacturing process, and the building has been sold. Following the sale of the Whitechapel Bell Foundry, the bell patents were sold to the Bell Hanging Company, Whites of Appleton in Oxfordshire, with whom the foundry has had a business relationship for 197 years. Years, and rights to Tower Bell production are now under the ownership of Wesley Group Limited. Production of presentation and hand bells will continue under the name Bells of Whitechapel Limited. Topic: History. The Whitechapel Bell Foundry Company dates back to 1570. The last premises at 32-34 Whitechapel Road, backing onto Plumbers Row, dates from 1670 and was formerly a coaching inn called the Artichoke, which had been damaged in the Great Fire of London. The Artichoke ceased trading in 1738 and the following year the Whitechapel Bell Foundry moved into the premises. The foundry remained at the site until May 2017. It was one of only two bell foundries left in the UK and had been in continuous production for almost 450 years. The master founders bell makers of Aldgate and Whitechapel, however, can be traced back to 1420. The three bells manufacturer's mark can be seen on the bells and the three bells sign hung over the door of the Whitechapel site. According to previous owners Alan and Catherine Hughes, the foundry had been a family-owned company throughout its history continuing when Alan Hughes's grandfather bought the company in 1904, until its sale to Wesley Group in 2017. The business has had to adapt throughout the centuries and in modern times, with new churches being built less frequently, produced handbells and doorbells. It responded to a surge in orders for table bells, following the popularity of the BBC period drama Downton Abbey, with a third of its sales going overseas. In 2013 the Foundry launched an online shop selling house bells, musical instruments and personalised merchandise. The large bell business has been largely unaffected by periods of financial depression, partly owing to the fact that from inquiry to completion an order takes on average 11 years. During World War II the foundry was used as a munitions production line where they made casings for the Ministry of War. The foundry was particularly busy after the war, replacing bells lost or damaged by fire in bombing raids across London. Hughes said, Our business runs counter to the national economy. If the economy goes down and unemployment rises, we start to get busy. Last year was our busiest in 30 years, an increase of 27% on the previous year. Similarly, the 1920s were very busy. Hughes also tells a story of an order requested of his grandfather in the 1890s which his father quoted again for in the 1950s and he himself gave a quote for in the 1970s. The order was finally completed in 1998. In March 2017, a consortium of heritage groups, including Save Britain's Heritage, the East End Preservation Society, the Society for the Protection of Ancient Buildings, the Ancient Monuments Society, and the Royal Academy of Arts, attempted to have the foundry premises listed as a Grade 1 listed building as an asset of community value to preserve the historical importance of the building within the wider East End community. The foundry was sold to U.S. investor Raycliffe who announced their intention to convert the building into a 95-room hotel with a bell-themed cafe. Notable bells 
Many churches across the world have bells cast by the Whitechapel Bell Foundry, but arguably its two best-known examples are not in places of worship. In 1752 the foundry known at the time as Leicester and Pack cast the Liberty Bell, which was commissioned to celebrate the 50th anniversary of William Penn's 1701 Charter of Privileges, Pennsylvania's original constitution. As a result of damage sustained during its stormy passage across the Atlantic, the bell cracked when it was first rung, and after repeated repairs cracked again in 1846 when rung to mark the birthday of George Washington. Since 2003, the bell has been housed at the Liberty Bell Center near Independence Hall. Big Ben, which tolls the hour at the Palace of Westminster, was cast in 1858 and rung for the first time on the 31st of May 1859. Big Ben weighs 13 and a half tons and is the largest bell ever cast at the foundry. This bell also cracked because too heavy a hammer was initially used. The crack and the subsequent retuning gives Big Ben its present distinctive tone. A profile template of Big Ben surrounds the entrance door of the Whitechapel foundry, while the original molding gauge is retained near the furnaces. The final bill for Big Ben came to £572. Whitechapel has supplied bells to several cathedrals. Guildford Cathedral in Surrey had a peal of ten bells, later augmented to twelve, Canterbury Cathedral augmented its bells to a peal of fourteen in 1981, and the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. in 1962. The foundry produced, Great Tom, at Lincoln Cathedral, the Clock Bells, at St. Paul's Cathedral, the bells of Westminster Abbey upon the construction of its tower between 1924 and 1942, the foundry cast 14 bells for the Liverpool Cathedral which all include psalm texts engravings. The bells are notable for being the heaviest change ringing peal of bells in the world. The foundry's bell founder at that time, Albert Hughes, is commemorated in a stained glass window in the nave. Churches with bells from Whitechapel include ones as near as St. Mary Le Beau, Cheapside and as far as the Armenian Church, Chennai, India. English examples include St. Dunstan's, Stepney and St. Dunstan's, Mayfield, St. Michael's, Beckwithshaw, St. Mary Le Moor, Wallingford Church of St. Thomas the Apostle, Killinghall. American churches in the Anglican Communion, for example St. Michael's Church, in Charleston, South Carolina. Australian churches include St. Bartholomew's Church, Burnley, St. Stephen's Anglican Church, Newtown, St. Philip's Church and St. James Church, Sydney. Bells not in churches include civic focal points such as a clock tower. Thomas Mears II cast the bell for Hearn Bay Clock Tower in 1837, following the September 11th attacks on the United States in 2001. The company made a tribute bell, the Bell of Hope, as a gift from the people of London to the city of New York. It is rung at 8.46 each year on the anniversary of the tragedy, the time the first plane hit the first tower. It was designed by architect Paul Bayard and was rung for the first time on American soil by the Bishop of New York, the R.T. Rev. Mark S. Sisk. The bell resided at Trinity Church, Manhattan, before being moved to St. Paul's Chapel. In 2005 it was rung again four times for the people killed in the 7th of July 2005 London bombings. The Whitechapel Bell Foundry designed the Olympic Bell seen at the opening ceremony for the London 2012 Olympic Games, although it was not cast on the premises. The furnaces at Whitechapel could not provide the 23 tons of molten metal required to make the bell, so it was manufactured at a factory in the Netherlands which normally produces ships' propellers. The Olympic bell has the lowest tone of any bell in the world at note B, is the largest harmonically tuned bell in the world and the widest bell in Britain. It now hangs in the Queen Elizabeth Park and is not rung because it is deemed too loud to be rung without disturbing local residents. The foundry cast the Royal Jubilee bells used on the lead barge for the Thames Diamond Jubilee pageant the same summer, which now hang in the church of St. James Garlic Hive. The last bell to be cast at the foundry was on the 22nd of March 2017, and was given to the Museum of London along with historical artefacts from the premises. The manufacturing patents for the Whitechapel bells have been sold to the bell hanging company, Whites of Appleton in Oxfordshire, with whom the foundry has had a business relationship for 197 years.
Topic: Master Founders. The names on this list are those that are cast into the surface of Whitechapel bells of different dates. Prior to Robert Moe, in 1574, the sign of three bells was often cast to indicate that it was a Whitechapel or Aldgate bell. <laughs> Gallery <laughs>